folks. Look to be ready with Sean Connors. Interesting beer we got tonight. It is a peppermint stout from Kensington um, Brewing Company out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. So peppermint stout, they say Keiko and candy cane stout. So it's going to be an interesting one. I honestly don't know what to think of it. 5.8% uh, alcohol, so it's considered a strong beer. Um, this is a beer I would have thought would have came last month for Christmas, but it was this month. It just came last week. So it says at KBO Companies, Kensington Brewing Company, I guess. It says at KBO Company, it's undisputed that mint chocolate chip is the best ice cream flavor. Don't don't try to argue or you're reading a can. It's getting a little chilly out for ice cream. Fear not, we, we're here to solve this horrendous problem. This is, like I said, an interesting one for me. Um, today, actually, here in New Flan, I think with the wind chill was minus 19, minus 20, so probably the coldest day of the year. And actually, I went for a dog walk earlier, and I froze. I was like several hours before I got warmed up. So a nice stout. It's a uh, good time for a nice stout. Now, as I said, it came with the Bear Club, so I've said it before, the Bear Club comes with a newsletter. tells me a little bit about each brewery and a little bit about each beer. So for Kensington Brewing Company, it says, Their story started in 2011 when they set out with a simple goal. Brew a hoppy pale ale that will complement the house ground burgers at their local burger spot. When their beer was a bigger hit than the burgers, they decided it was time to pursue an adventure in brewing and pay homage to their home, Toronto Kensington Market. And if you're uh, my age, you think Kensington, you think of the King of Kensington, a show here in Canada, I think the late 70s type of thing. Uh, it says the mission was to represent the diverse flavors of the neighborhood with the beer that reflected the electric culture. Growing from the culinary roots that led them into brewing and their insistence on using local ingredients as both contents and inspiration, they have thoughtfully crafted beer that is best enjoyed with food. They are continuously bringing out innovative new flavors that help us explore the wonderful relationship between what we eat and what we drink. And as for the peppermint stout, it says, Mint chocolate box but in a glass. And I love mint, I love chocolate. So, With the aroma of dark chocolate and nose of peppermint and espresso, the first sip surprises with a refreshing cool mint effect, followed with a bittersweet chocolate note and a hint of molasses. The beer finishes dry with a touch of vanilla rounding out the end. That sounds appetizing to me. Um, stouts are an interesting beer for me because I either love them or I hate them. I love a good Guinness, but it has to be the right time and place. I've had some um, stouts that I really enjoyed and others not so much. And with that being said, I am not a coffee drinker. So ones that are heavy on the coffee flavor, this mentioned espresso, so that kind of kind of makes me question it. But at the same time, I love chocolate mint. So this is going to be an interesting one indeed. So it's a stout, so we know it's going to be dark. Actually, I'm not even going to use that glass. That's my craft beer glass. I'm going to use all the point glass. Or will I use another glass? Just saying, if there's anything there that kind of reminds me of, uh, that's the same glass. I think I'll, yeah, I'll stick with the, you know, yeah, that's the same thing again. I thought I had a glass that reminded me of Ireland drinking in an Irish pub. I can't seem to find it. So I will stick with the point glass. This is one that you'll see quite common in pubs. So dark as we expected, which is quite common for a stout. If I, if I ever had a light covered stout, I'd start to really question it. Alright, so, nice little head, nothing extravagant, like a Guinness. Um, definitely get the espresso aroma. Like I said, for me, oh, I get the chocolate aroma there too. I like the chocolate, not so much the coffee. But realistically, a call comes down to the taste. Um, I can definitely taste the mint. I can definitely taste the chocolate. I can definitely taste the espresso. What else did they say? Vanilla rounding up the end. Not getting much of that. 
Not getting much of the molasses, as I said. With that being said, the most uh, dominant flavor that I'm getting personally would be the espresso. And as I said, I'm not a coffee drinker. Once again, I'm getting the mint. What I like about it, the mint is there, but it's not overwhelming. And that's what I was kind of afraid of, that the peppermint would be a little bit too much. It is there, but it's not overwhelming. But as I mentioned, the coffee espresso is a dominant flavor. I'm not a big coffee drinker, so. Hmm, interesting. It's definitely one I'll finish, so it's no less than a two. It's definitely not a close to a five, being the best beer ever. Uh, doesn't quite do it for me. The little hint of mint is nice. But for me, that's more of a novelty thing. Like if I had one of these at Christmas, it would be a nice little thing. Which is, to me, this is a Christmas beer. So why they didn't send it to me last month, that would be preferred. Um, yeah, but that's about it. It would be like a novelty thing once, you know, a Christmas type of thing, but no more than that for me. Uh, my ratings are always out of a five. I want the drain pour it. Don't like it. Can't finish it. I'm literally going to pour it out down the drain. A two is, yeah, I'm not a big fan, but I'll finish it. A three is a good beer. A four is a very good beer. And a five would be the best beer ever. And I know I'm going to finish this. But honestly, I think it might be a struggle. So I'm thinking about a 2.5. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Let me have another taster. Too. Yeah, I think I'll stick with my 2.5. I'm definitely going to finish it. Um, I don't think I'll be drinking it quickly. It's going to be a slow drinking it. It's not quite for me a good beer, but it's something, it's a novelty. Um, I'll enjoy one. I will finish it, but like I said, it might take a bit of time. So, unfortunately, for me, I, it's a bit of a thumbs down for this one. And this is actually the third one from this beer box. And I think the last one was the Craft Lager. And the other one was a Blueberry Ale slash Lager. And so far this month, I haven't been overly impressed with any of the beers. But I still have three more. I have a red ale, a brown ale, and a double IPA. And IPAs, uh, you know, I don't mind them, but they're not my favorite beers. So the double IPA, I'm not quite sure about. The brown ale, that could be a hit and miss. And honestly, the red ale could be a hit and miss. So we'll have to see what the next little while brings. So there you go, folks, for the Kensington Peppermint Stout 2.5. Next day or so, we'll uh, hit, the beer, hit the fridge and see what we got. Until then, enjoy responsibly. Cheers.